Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. Hey, it's that time again. We need you to subscribe to the IUIC Phoenix YouTube page, all right? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We need your help. Shalom. Chapter 4 and verse 12. Beware of all order. Right? Second Ezra 6 and 9, all right? Every nation has biblical names. Today, white people are called Caucasians, right? The Bible called them Edom, Esau, all right? Today, Israelites are called African-American, Puerto Rican or Native American, all right? The Bible calls us Israelites, all right? Today, they're called Asian, Korean, Chinese, right? Japanese. The Bible calls them Moab and Ammon, all right? Read this. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. That's who's in rulership today. And it's not a racist thing. I'm just telling you who it is, according to the Bible. Hey, they, they enjoy the power that they have and the strength. The, hey, the, the Caucasian man is a mighty race in the earth now. For now. For now. Read that part again. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it. The there is no end of the world. Not in the sense that they try to tell you that global warming is going to destroy the earth. That the earth is going to end one day. God made the earth for us. The Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And there's a set time for the rule of Esau, the so-called Caucasian, to be done. And when that thing is done, that's when we're going to go ahead and get our rulership. But only if we follow the steps. Let me get Tobit, where it talks about marry of thy tribes. All right? I want to show you one more thing, DJ, because I know you got to go and I know we got to rap and I wanted to get more stuff for you, um, but we're going to make sure you get some information and you can come to our school, all right? We got a school right in Phoenix, all right? You're welcome to come. We do classes every Saturday. We do classes on Monday and we can teach you more about your history, all right? Read this real quick. Come on. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 4 and verse 12. Beware of all order, right? God tells us that we got to beware of all whoredom. And a lot of times you think of whoredom, and what do you think of? 
No, sleeping around, right? Sleeping around, right? I know it usually applies to a woman when they say she's a whore, right? But you can say you a hoe, right? Right? Whore them, right? Meaning anything that would fall under that. But one thing that a lot of our people don't know is whore them, all right, is who we supposed to align ourselves with when it comes to marriages, coming together, lying down together with somebody. Come on, listen to this. My son, and cheaply take a wife of the seed of thy father. We're supposed to take wives of the seeds of our fathers, not of the other nations. We're not supposed to deal with them, all right? And I'm gonna show you why. Let me get 2nd Ezra 8, all right? I'm gonna show you something. That That's called who are them when we, when we hook ourselves up with people of the other nations. Come on. Second Ezra is it for, oh first Ezra's eight. First Ezra's eight. Come on, give me that. This is the book of first Ezra, chapter eight and verse sixty-nine. The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests and Levites. Because we are princes. We are priests. It talks about the Levites in that as well. The nation of Israel. Come on. Have not put away from them the strange people of the land. The strange people is heathen. People that are not of our people. Come on. Nor right. the pollutions of the Gentiles. Because they will bring us into pollutions. They're not going to allow us to be in this. They're going to bring us Christmas and New Year's and false holidays and things like that. We're not supposed to roll that way. No, it's all right. It's all right. They just, just make, yeah, yeah, it's just cool, bro. They're just making sure. We got an order and a structure how we do things. All right, bro? Oh, you want to do it quiet? All right. If at all possible, live peaceably with all men. I'm going to show you what the Bible, Bible says. Listen, there's a promise for us. And I want you to listen to this too. Oh, I want that, and then I want uh, Amos 9 and uh, 7. And, yeah, 7 and 8. Uh, but first, get me this. If at all possible, live peaceably with all men. Because, right... Again, I gotta stress this. We are not to rise up in violence. We are to obey the laws of the land. We are a non-violent group. We are here for our people. We are here and we go into where our people are and we try to bring them this truth and how to live a righteous life according to the scriptures. You got that? Come on. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 18. Bring it up. If it be possible, meaning if you don't got to defend yourself, right, self-defense, if somebody ain't trying to kill you or harm you or something to that effect, right? So if it be possible, come on, as much as lieth in you, and we have a lot that lieth within us, right, come on, live peaceably with all men. Live peaceably with all men. So the first thing is, is we not to do nothing but gather together and keep these commandments, right? Where else I tell you to go? Amos 9. But let me tell you what the scriptures say. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 7. Verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not. Now give me 11. Jump to 11. That's too much. Verse 11. In that day. In that day when Christ returned. Right? Remember what we read in Ezra's where we said uh, the whole earth was made for us. And then we say Esau is the end and Jacob's the beginning. He says in that day, after we've gathered ourselves together, we've rehearsed the righteous acts. A set number, 144,000 leading men, 12,000 from each tribe are sealed. And the mixed multitude of our people behind it. Then Christ is going to return to set things in order. In that day, come on, will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof? The tabernacle of David that was fallen is the division between what's called southern and northern kingdom, between so-called black people and so-called Hispanic and Native Americans. The coming together again that we are one people, right? right? Because together, that's a strong nation that can stand against any nation. Come on. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Because once upon a time we had a kingdom where we were all united. Read a little faster. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. Hey wait, possess. If you possess something, what is that? Bring it out. 
to have it, right? That's yours. If you possess it, you own it. It says, we would possess the remnant of Edom. Who is Edom? The Bible says, that's the so-called Caucasian person today. Come on. And of all the heathen, and of all nations, come on, which are called by my name, because you have heathen that say that they are Israelites. You asked me earlier about Israel and Palestine. They say they are Jews, but they're not. Come on. Right. Saith the Lord that doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the blow. That's all I. That's all I. That's all I wanted on that. All right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna close it out with this scripture. You, you got our information? Uh, uh, all right, all right. Okay. All right. Come, come back over here. Okay. All right. I want to deal with you some more. I want to go back to some of the things that happened to us, right? So that you can see that your history is in the Bible. Okay. Let me go back to Deuteronomy 28. Be 45 and 46 again. You can read a little faster, right? This is the God to keep His commandments and His statutes, which He commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So I'm going to show you some of these curses that happened to the so-called Native Americans. You say you know what? You know what they did? They robbed. They robbed your land. They robbed our land. They took that from us. All right. But the Bible, thousands of years ago, depicted that that would happen to us. It described it as a prophecy. So we have to understand that the reason those things happen to us is because we strayed from our God. We strayed from our true heritage. And I was telling you earlier, I get it, especially when I've met a lot of indigenous people here, because that's really what you could say is indigenous. Native American is what they called you. Indian is what they called you. All right. And Indian to them meant what? Savage. But we were not savages. So much history, and you know that. I know that at, at the very least, you still have maybe some of your elders that'll give you some of that information, yeah. right? But even they have become misguided from this over the years. Because now, what do they have y'all deal with? Like the, God, the, the spirit of the earth, the spirit of the air, things, stuff like that, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's not that those things don't have a presence, but that's not the end. There is a Jeez. spirit in the wind. There is a spirit in the ground, all right? But it's all controlled by one God, all right? It's not a separate God that's over each of us. It's a power that he puts in all of them. There's a spirit in the wind. There's a spirit in the storm that he stores, that he stirs up, all right? But it's not its own thing with its own mind, all right? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 